a Titan size. Welcome back, Titans. Today I'm going. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a new game, a new series, uh, of a game called Bowmaster Prelude. Now this game is uh, fairly old-ish. It's like uh, I don't really know, probably 2009. Yeah, so it's pretty old. But basically, what you do is you're defending a castle from bad guys with a bow that you're shooting from a tower, and, well, we'll get to some of that later. So, here we can, uh, set up our, uh, castle flag and stuff, so I'll do that real quick. Okay, so there's our flag up there, which won't show up, or you, you can just see it in the top left here. I know my mouse is invisible, but I'm circling it anyways. Uh, enemy flag. You can also so let's put them a sad face because they're gonna die. And let's have it cyan and teal. No, black. Yes, that's it. Name insert here. Let's just have an insert <laughs> insert here. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, tessire. Now there's also a lot of ways you can uh shoot the bow. There's uh, auto aim, which is literally you click somewhere and it will go there. Point aim, which you'll click, you go there, but uh, however, it will the arrows will be affected by gravity with auto aim there or not. Pull string is like shooting an actual bow. You just uh, kind of click and pull the thing back and it will go there. Drag anywhere is you can even shoot it backwards and it doesn't tell you exactly how much power you're going to have or anything. It's really hard to do. So I'm going to do point aim because I'm kind of terrible at this. So, yeah. Create. Okay, here we are. Here, we're to sign. Class, to master, mission one. And here you can hear the music. It's extremely... Uh, it's catchy. It's really catchy. I like it. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to turn it down. So if you guys can't hear me, well, that's probably your fault. I am going to turn it down. An ominous force threatens to eradicate the peaceful civilizations of the world. Legions of darkness, hordes of evil, an infectious plague upon the land. All of this brought on by a cruel and ravenous force, the Trevgar. But there is hope. A noble lord of a humble kingdom proved to his populace that the Trevgar can be defeated. Armed with a legendary bow and fused with magical powers, he held the never-ending invasion at bay. But the siege would inevitably consume the kingdom unless the peasants fight back. Inspired by their leader and vengeful for the loss of their loved ones, the peasants vow to master the craft of war. Training in the ways of their enemies, the country people forged steel, milled lumber, and carved stone. The Trevgar advanced, but now you shall take the fight to them. Oh man. Alright, so that's that. Uh, options. Let's turn. We can't turn the music down, unfortunately, so we just have to be off. Or not. Okay. <laughs> uh, blood and I'll just get that medium detail high if I can. Difficulty. I'll just keep it on medium for now because I do not have, uh, I don't have really good arrows, so it'll be really hard to do. Oh, there it is. There goes the music. Now, as you can see here, these guys are going to start coming, and I'm going to shoot them with arrows before they steal my flag. And if they take it back to theirs, I lose. But if I kill all of them, I win. So, what you can do is you can win it. You can beat them in two ways. You can, uh, kill all of them. <laughs> Um, or you can take other guys, which I can't do yet, and they can take their flag, which for some reason will stop them from coming because they're too ashamed because the flag isn't here or something. I don't know. Anyways, as you can see, I'm just clicking randomly and hoping to hit things. And yeah, it, it's a, uh, it's fun, you know. Uh, I extremely recommend checking this game out. It's called Bowmaster Prelude. P R E L U D E. 
Which I don't really know what prelude means. I think it just means, uh... Like, continue, because this is the second one. The first one is literally never-ending. I could not make a series out of that. Unfortunately. But this one, I do believe, has an I never got to the end of it as a child, but I do believe it has an ending. So, you know. So there are catapults that come up also, which can damage your castle over here. And if they succeed, then you will literally be staying out in the open. Your freaking character just shooting spamming arrows at them. And, uh, you know. And they can actually, I think they can kill you, I'm not sure though. So there are like a four, at least I know, like four or five types of guys, that, five or six types of guys that come up. There's uh, these normal guys here, which I've killed a lot of. There's bigger guys, which are just like normal guys, but they're uh, smaller or they're bigger. As you can see, there are that guy in red, he's an archer. That guy on the horse is a horseback guy. I don't know what these guys' exact names are. And that guy just, that just came out in a rope was a healer. He can heal them or bring them back to life, I think. Not sure if he can do that, but... Uh, so you have these guys in robes, or... Yeah. And the archers can kill your castle, too. And as you heard there, I just leveled up. Rank 2. And down there is my XP bar, which turns orange as you shoot things. And once it fills all the way up, it, uh... It, uh... Yeah. Uh, so let's take out this healer here. Yeah, but soon enough, the, the uh, guys are really pretty tough. They, uh... Oh, oh, I'm so sorry I just barked in my video. That's kind of inappropriate. Uh, they start spawning like a uh, flying, like dragons, like uh, ice demons and stuff like that. This game can get pretty hard. Uh, but you can also purchase upgrades like explosive arrows, fire arrows. You can even summon like meteors that come from space and murder everything in the uh, or doom and destruction and death. You are victorious on the level 1 completed, guys. So here's the upgrades menu. There's not much you can buy, honestly. But, uh, you know. So there's fire arrows, bomb waves, uh, uh, ice comets, as, you, as I said earlier. Uh, fire waves, healing waves, ice arrows, meteors, thunders, th th lightning clouds, I guess. Ice waves, flak arrows. Uh, bomb arrows, uh, and then these are people that you can summon, which I won't do quite yet because that takes a bunch of gold to summon them, unfortunately, which would literally prevent me from ever uh, buying a lot of stuff. And then the pierce arrow here, which, uh, you know, so it should be fairly obvious what all of these do. Uh, that's an archer, a soldier, a heavy soldier, a horse rider, a priest, and... A catapult. Well, I guess that's called a trebuchet. Trebuchet? I, I don't know what it's called. So for now, I'll just buy a uh, fire arrow. Because that's that makes sense. Oh, no. I clicked upgrades twice in a row. As you can see down here, that's uh, down on the very bottom there is my arrows. That's the type of arrows I have. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, which are actually just the number keys on the keyboard. It's like Minecraft, basically. It's kind of like Minecraft, you know, how you can do that, but however... Oh, you can't, you can... Yeah, okay, okay, okay so that's how that works. You can actually scroll, and it goes through several pages if you, uh... If you get, like, a lot of things, like all of the upgrades. You can see down in the bottom right next to the pause button, there's my FPS. You can see going from like 30 to 9 and stuff in like seconds. I don't know why that happens. I think this website I'm playing on just keeps refreshing, which is unfortunate. You can see going from like 30 to 9 and stuff in like seconds. I don't know why that So while there's no guys coming out, I might as well just spam their castle because if you take down their castle, you get a bunch of XP and stuff. So I hit with a fire and as you can see, it does damage over time. And, uh, there's also a recharge meter down here, which, uh, indicates the next time you can use that arrow. 
and so obviously the more powerful ones have longer cooldowns. And you know. Uh so let's use a fire arrow here on this catapult. Because I do not want to get destroyed. Of course I yes. <laughs> Oh, Tissa, what are you doing with your life? Uh, yeah, I've been uh, kind of realizing some of the I have no subscribers. Oh, that's okay. I will, if I keep up my good work, I know that I will get subscribers soon enough. And one day I will be more powerful than Illuminati. So pretty much what this game is is spamming arrows at stuff. For now at least. Soon enough it's gonna it it's gonna get more powerful arrows and uh like uh you know, flying stuff as I mentioned demons. I don't know what else there is. I don't even know how many levels this game is. I know that's the end of it. It's a long time ago that I played this. As you can see up there on the top is my gold. The time I get that for killing things. And I think I actually get it for killing them. Yes, I do. I get 10 for every hit. Because I'm a mean. If I was on hard or insane, I would actually get 40 or something. Okay, so let's use a fire arrow here because. Yes! Yes! So I'm trying to get a better editing system for uh I'm just moving all these guys behind these doors, it's, it's hilarious. For uh Because the editing system I have, which is Windows Movie Maker, it can't really do anything other than the most basic stuff. It is for but uh you know. There's gonna be better free ones out there, right? Right? <laughs> my, uh, my, my, uh, bro my brother, he uh, works for an editing, uh, or like a Photoshop thing, and apparently he has a, uh, a, uh, the thing he uses, which is Adobe Photoshop, I think, I believe. Actually has an editing software. And if he has a profile on that, I do believe he'd be willing to lend it to me. Because he have no use for it. Well, we're victorious again, guys. And I leveled up. And so I have 2,000 gold now. Which I used to buy the bomb arrow, because the bomb arrow is, like, extremely useful, actually. It's... It just does a lot of damage and stuff. And if you combine that with fire arrows on the castle, it can actually destroy them. Um, so, yeah, there, there, you see it? And bam, 429 damage. And since it explodes, it causes a, uh, a hunk of the castle to fall off, which, and the rocks and the debris that come from it will actually do damage to people, so that's pretty funny. I like the noises these guys make when, uh, they do it. It's so satisfying. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Two, three. Love how one just follows the other. That's really satisfying as well. You, 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 you. 
Okay, yeah, I have another room here in the making, so that's coming soon to a theater near you. Probably right after this video actually uploads, actually. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, bad things happen in the video, I'm just gonna say that right now. Guys, if you're watching it, you're gonna cry every time. Guaranteed. <laughs> I love, I love how like, the flag is set, I don't know why, but that's really funny to me. Because it's the You all are... Your armor looks funny. I don't know, I'm at it insult. I don't know, medieval insults. Come on, guys. Your castle's gonna get in the way of my shots. So I can't... Murder you all and defend my kingdom. I don't know what it looks like if you said the blood to Dang! I cannot keep quit burping. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some cold red Mountain Dew here. Ooh, that was delicious. Oof, sorry about that. Once again, <laughs> I've heard it three times in my video. Oh, four. Oh, well. So if you're watching my videos, you probably don't mind a little bit of burpage. Hopefully. Three? No. <laughs> I kept tapping three to pull on my explosive arrow, but it did not work. Oh look, uh, as you can see, if you damage the castle, their castle enough, it starts a fire in them, and I do know that fire actually does additional damage to it over time, so I don't even have to do anything to damage it, but I will continue to damage it. Oh hi Ellie, Ellie's my dog, he's a kind of love. Love her so much, Ellie. Um, so oh no, he's just gonna heal him. I need to murder him. Now, if these guys were on expert, they would have like four times the, as much health as they do, and they would move a lot faster. So, I don't play on expert. Because I am kind of bad at this. Well, I'm not really bad, it's just I'm not exactly MLG Pro. Oh, I a horse in there. If I see a horse, I pretty much just want to murder it, because if uh, he get, they get a hold of my flag, there's pretty much going to be no stopping them, they're extremely freaking fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm glad that the catapults don't have 100% hit chance, that would be terrible. I really want to destroy this castle because uh, I'll just get so much freaking money for it. Yeah, look at the freaking fire that's coming out of it now. Let's finish it. Owned. Yeah. I think destroying the castle prevents uh, extra people from spawning, but I'm not entirely positive. And I win. I think. Yes, I do. Nice. Uh, so, now that I'm 19. Dang, I can't buy anything. Oh man, I'm just like too short or something. Wait. Oh, wait, I can't buy the ice arrow. But I think I'll save up. Alright, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it, comment, and subscribe. If you don't know who I am, I'm the Silent Hill 345. I basically do the random games, do random gaming, and random gaming to you. And there'll be more.